Well, I've been busy lately uh, doing that front porch landscaping work, and I had a few things I got behind on, like I never did get the uh, snow tires taken off the truck. So I figure, okay, I better get that done. I guess it's officially against the law to be running the snow tires right now. So, I'm going to pull the hot rod out of here and bring the truck in here. Pick it up with a lift. Do a quick snow tire swap. And, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do today. Okay, then that truck's kind of long. I took it on there the other way and really had quite a lot of the truck stuck out in the back room there. And I figured this lift ought to be closer to the front than it is to the back. In fact, probably if I back this up about 10 inches or so, it wouldn't hurt because you got more weight on the engine side than doing the back side here. So I think I'll do that. Back it up just a hair. Loosen the bolts. My old uh, air gun's getting a little on the weak side. I think it's about time for a new one. <clears throat> The lift will pick up the front of the truck, but not the back at the same time. And it's because the frame is drops down in the front. So it's lifting the part of the frame that it's touching, but it's not touching the back of the frame. So the back wheels are still on the ground. That's annoying. Yep. I think I can pop the front wheels off and swap them. Back it on here. And then pick up the back end of it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a lift to do that, but what you're going to do. One more reason I think I would like to sell this thing. By the way, I showed you all a picture of that rusted out Chevy truck frame the other day. And you may remember I coated all of my frame with that fluid film stuff. That's why I do it, is because uh, I don't want this truck to ever look like that truck. Of course, I don't drive this one a lot, and it came up from Georgia, so it's only... hadn't been up here as long as... Uh, a lot of the trucks have been up here since they're new, but uh, I want to make this one last at least till I kick over and then Josh or Christina, whoever winds up with it, can figure out what to do with it after that. Okay, so I'll go get my tires and poke them on the front here.